Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a get ready with me and in this one I'm just going to show you how I conceal and correct my dark circles. This has been requested so many times and so I thought I'd actually do a get ready with me to show you how I wear my makeup and how I correct my dark circles for an actual event. Um, I was photographed at this event and there was no flashback. My makeup stayed put. It looked really good. My dark circles didn't come through at all up until maybe eight, nine hours later. So this makeup holds really well. I'm starting out with my Pure Hydrogel Lift Primer and I'd already got my under eye cream on five minutes before. Um, and on top of the primer, I'm going in with my corrector, which um, is my Makeup Atelier Paris. This is my favorite corrector of all time. Um, I've gone in with the lightest shade from the palette and I'm just using a blending brush by Real Techniques. I just zoomed in a bit um, just to Give you a little bit more um, detail on what I'm doing but I'm applying this corrector just where I've got my dark circles this is orange but on top of my darkness it actually neutralizes it so well that it looks almost my skin color it does come through a little bit orange in person but not so much um, but if I applied this anywhere else on my skin it would definitely look orange so you got to be careful where you place your corrector um, I'm applying a good amount of this but a thin layer of it, um, just so that it doesn't crease and it doesn't, um, yeah, it doesn't crease mainly. I'm going in right up into the inner corners. I'm not really applying this on my eyelid. I will go in with some concealer and powder later, um, but I'm not applying the corrector onto my eyelid. Um, I didn't see the need of it because the eyeshadows that I'm going to use on top work quite well over just my corrector and powder. And then I'm going to apply my foundation next, and I'm using a mixture of the Illamasqua Skin Base in 12 and MAC Face and Body in C5. And I'm applying this using a Real Techniques buffing brush. The reason I've included this is because this is actually the steps that I do take when it comes to applying my corrector concealer. So I do go in with foundation next, just because the, correct, the concealer then blends in better into the foundation, um, rather than applying my correct to concealer first and then going in with foundation which is what I used to do but this way I apply less product under my eye and it's it sits better it looks better it doesn't look cakey at all and then once the foundation is done I go in with my concealer and I'm using my all-time favorite MAC Pro Longwear Concealer this is in the shade NC35 um, and I'm using a Morphe brush just to apply this under my eye now I go in over the corrector, but a little bit lower down as well, just so it doesn't look like a whiter or lighter patch just under my eye. Um, I do bring it lower down up into maybe where my nostrils start. Um, yeah, just to give a highlighted look under my face. And then what I do is go over just the edge of where my concealer meets my foundation with my foundation brush and just pat that over. Um, for some reason that didn't record, but I don't take any extra product, any extra foundation, but just using the uh, buffing brush that I use for my foundation, I just pat over the area just to further blend the two products in. I go over my eyelid as well, as you can see, and all the way up to my brow bone. And then to set the concealer, I first go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Golden using a Real Techniques contour brush and I'm setting my eyelid and under the eye as well. Now this, pro this powder is a little bit dark for me but um, I'm going to go in with a lighter powder later uh, just to balance it out. The reason I do go in with this powder and not a lighter shade is because it's got a slightly orange tone to it on my skin and that helps to keep the darkness at bay. So my, you know, with um, when you put in your corrector concealer, after a certain amount of time, the dark circles do come through. But with this technique, they don't come through at all for at least an about eight to nine hours. Then going over the mineralized skin finish, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC25. Now this is shades lighter than my skin, but on top of the mineralized skin finish, it brings it down to maybe one or two shades lighter, which helps to just highlight the center part of my face. Um, I do go in with this pipe powder very sparingly around my mouth and nose and forehead just to balance the entire look. 
I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back to show you how it all looks once it's all done. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.